starting this as a new vlog or continuing this in like a regular vlog but hey if you're new here my name is Akira Janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so today is Thursday April 13th and hmm, I have a long day already well I had a long day so it is 409 right now I have to clip my hair back up um I'm actually about to finish packing. So this will basically be part two of me moving out. Um, I didn't move out all in one day like I usually did, like in the past, like in the past videos. Um, I moved most of my stuff, well, a lot of my stuff um, yesterday with the help of Josh and Emmanuel. Me and then Janae helped a little bit, came over and, re and recorded my empty apartment tour. So today is Thursday. I'm about to finish packing my living room. Like I packed so much. I put, well, you guys seen the video. Um, I packed so much. It's just, I have a lot of stuff. So it still seems like, you know, I got a full on apartment full of stuff. So today I'm about to start packing my living room. I'm gonna give you guys an overview of this cause it's gonna look completely different in like three or four hours. So what I'm gonna do is move all the stuff from the table like pack the table up first i'm going to pack all the stuff out this shelf and all of that and then i'm going to raise the shelf up take the tv off wrap the shelf and then put the glass to the side because the glass can come out so take that out and then put the table like rail basically over here with this one because these are really light so and then i have the glass to that somewhere else then when I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and roll this rug up. And then my sectional is in two pieces. So literally it splits right here. So this piece is one and then this piece is one. So what I'm going to do is stand it, is stand it up vertically and then wrap it with that saran wrap that I bought, which is this. If you guys didn't check out the first video, go check it out. And then this also is linked in my amazon storefront literally works perfectly i've literally wrapped <laughs> every type of big furniture piece or something that i didn't want to get messed up or anything so this whole section is about to be cleared out and then when i'm done with that i think i may straighten up my kitchen first because i made a mess in the kitchen so i may do that or i may just go ahead and jump into um turn this off may go ahead and jump into packing up my bathroom which shouldn't be too much i'm literally going to keep everything in these little containers just put all of this in a box all of this in a box and then these are just hair tools so that'll be easy and i already took the other stuff that was under there and since i only have this little storage right here everything is already in its own kind of compartment i was going to dump everything out because i would nine times out of ten be organizing this completely different because i have so much space in the new one you guys should have already seen that by now with the empty apartment tour so i think what i want to do is just to make it easier i may keep it in these bins and then just put it in a big box and carry it that way because dumping it out it may be a little bit overwhelming <laughs> so i'm going to try to keep it as organized as possible and then these are just towels and then back stock and then over here i'll just pack that up in these i'm actually gonna try to take these off tomorrow because these are like really on there really really good and then you can buy these little thingies from amazon in a pack of two for like seven dollars so i'll also link that if you want that i also gotta take that shower head down because that is mine i installed that in a vlog if you guys remember and then i think i may save tomorrow to take all my wall decorations down because today i just need to focus on really really just packing and getting everything ready so that's a little rundown what i'm about to do um i think i'm about to eat me some fruit snacks to give me a little bit more energy because i just had chick-fil-a about two and a half hours ago and then yeah we're just about to get to get to going 
I gotta go downstairs though and get my broom because how did that get over there? All that dirt. Well, I know how I dropped my plant, but forgot to sweep that up. So we're gonna handle that and we're gonna get to it. I also left my tripod at the new apartment so the angles may not be the greatest, but I got my little bitty tripod right now, this one. So I just gotta find something tall to like set this up on. Like I can set it up on this box right here. And if I set it up on the box, this will be the angle. So not too bad. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit the block up, I tell you if it was us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush. Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up. No, you see my text, baby, please say something. Wine by the glass, man, a cheapskate, huh? Niggas gotta move on my release day, huh? Bitch, this is fame, not clout. I don't even know what that's about. Watch your mouth. Maybe got an ego touch of the real. I can never tell you what it is. What it is. Said what I had to and did what I did. Never turn my back on every team. God forbid. Virgil's got the paddock on my wrist. Doing fun flips. Giving you my number, but don't hit me on no dumb shit. Working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit the block up, I tell you if it was us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush. It's cool, man. Got red bottles on. Life is good. <laughs> I feel so bad because I'm about to <laughs> disturb him. He is so peacefully sitting on this little beard that they got me. <laughs> I'm gonna do the rug first though. if I want to zoom in <laughs> I don't know if I want to keep the pillows on there and like plastic wrap the pillows because I want it to be able to fit through the door and stuff so I don't want to really put anything on there but when they bring it I think when they brought it they had the pillows in the bag or was it separate I don't know I can't remember so I went ahead and decided to put the pillows on my sectional and then just wrap them like that I feel like nothing can get lost everything will be in the same spot that it needs to be in and everything will be protected so like I said I bought this large <laughs> excuse me plastic wrap from Amazon it is linked in my Amazon storefront and that is linked in my description box so what I decided to do to get it started is I took some of the plastic in between two pillows and then I rolled it under the couch rolled it over I did that about two to three times after I felt like it was good enough, then I was able to raise up the bed. The bed. Child, what am I talking about? <laughs> I was able to raise up the couch and then wrap it around that way. So raising up the couch, obviously, with something standing vertically, it is easier to wrap. But like I said, see, the pillows was falling. So I had to start it with the couch facing down. And then I had to raise the couch up. So I feel like wrapping your furniture... In this plastic wrap or whether you get like the little baggie or whatever from walmart it helps out a ton like this i feel like made the move so much easier and so much faster my furniture was protected nothing got scratched nothing got dirty like this definitely was a 10 out of 10 like i keep telling y'all i wanted this move to be the 
best move that I've had yet and I definitely feel like it was the best move. It took a lot, but I do feel like it was the most efficient move and the, like I said, easiest move. And I also had a ton of help. It was like four, five, six of us helping get this stuff out of my apartment. So this little smaller one is a lot easier to do. Um, just lift it up. My couch isn't that heavy, but girl, doing all this by yourself, it definitely takes a lot out of you. So I commend all y'all women who be doing this by yourself. Let me tell you again, if I move again, not from this place, like when I move into a house, like with my husband and stuff, better believe my boyfriend is about to be the one packing all this stuff up and helping me. I'm about to have my mom over here, everybody over here helping me. But yeah, it worked out really well. Wanted to give you guys a little peek at how my patio storage is looking. It's pretty much all cleared out. Just got to come back for the rest of this little bitty stuff. All right, the living room is basically majority all well it is packed. I'm about to move into the bathroom. I already showed you guys all of this. So came to the agreement, me and Bay, since I'm gonna rearrange all of this stuff. I'm gonna have my wig stuff in my guest bathroom because I'm gonna do wigs and stuff over there. And then natural hair care will be in my personal like master bedroom. So I think I'm just gonna dump everything out because obviously I'm gonna rearrange everything since I have a lot of space. I'm honestly not even gonna really need these baskets since I have so many cabinets, drawers and stuff over there in both. <clears throat> bathroom so I'm just gonna dump everything out organize it like stack it I'm not just gonna pour everything in there and then that'll leave me with more space to be putting stuff in here because I still gotta pack that all of that and like this stuff I'm gonna keep this one in the bin This box will be all of my hair stuff. I gotta stop getting on the camera looking a mess. It's 9.58 in the morning. Me and Prince are playing fetch in the house. Just took him out. I um, wanted to just update y'all real quick. Since it is, I might as well just say 10 o'clock. Um, I'm not gonna start on my bedroom until 12. So this is how my bedroom looks. I think I showed y'all that last night. I think what I'm gonna do is straighten up my, excuse me, straighten up my kitchen because it's hard to pack when there's mess everywhere and I cook and stuff. So I'm about to set a timer for 30 minutes, clean the kitchen, and then after the 30 minutes is up, I'm gonna come into the bathroom and then set another 30 minute timer and then just clean, pack the rest of this little stuff and figure everything out in here because tonight obviously is the last night of me like sleeping in here tomorrow my bed and everything will be at the new place so at the new place i measured out my bed i'm gonna have the same amount of walk space as this which i'm sad about but next time y'all see i'm not gonna really record too much of me moving all this stuff because i'm really just cleaning so that i can see what i have left to pack so this is basically like the before of everything. And then I also still have to pack my laundry room, which all they gotta do is take the washer and dryer out of here. And then only other storage I have stuff in here that gotta take this down today. And then this is the other stuff that I have in my laundry room. So I will be transporting this in my own car to make sure you know it doesn't break or spill or anything like that i pulled the dryer out so i can kind of see behind what's kind of plugged up because we're gonna have to plug this up <laughs> ourselves so yeah that's that i'm gonna do another load of laundry maybe like two loads of laundry today and then after that 
I think I will be done. So I'll check in back with y'all at like 12 o'clock. This is from my bathroom. <laughs> I wonder if I would have laid them like this. Would that give me more space in here? Cause it's like already filled up, but you see how I got empty space? I wanna try that. Okay, so my problem, my dilemma is these are the only boxes that I have left. Um, yeah, so I have one medium sized Home Depot box. I'm gonna save this for like something that like I really, really need it for. So I got these other small ones, baby. Walmart or wherever these Bear Graham cookies are sold, baby, they better be stocked. Y'all must like them because I didn't already pack like two of them there's another one there's another one there's another box honey and here's another box y'all be going off on them bare grams then um these two boxes i can't use because they literally have it says to open cut tape here and then i guess they just went ahead and cut the top of the box so these two i mean i can use but it's gonna have to be stuff that like doesn't really need a top you know like something you'll just hold and carry so i will probably i don't know honestly i may end up using these for little simple stuff so yeah i mean i can use these for the detergent i was just going to put these in two like bags like grocery sacks but i mean since the top is open you already kind of know what it is i'll probably just sit this kind of stuff in here so i can utilize all of these boxes so camera's about to die but that's the update i decided to take an hour with cleaning the kitchen since i did put those together but now the kitchen it's pretty much empty for the most part. Um, after I put this stuff in the, um, like all my extra stuff in here, I'm gonna put that in those open boxes and then I'm gonna move on into the bathroom. I have nine minutes left on my timer. So I'm about to make use of these nine minutes. It is 11, it's 11 o'clock. So I have one more hour until I gotta start on my bedroom. <laughs>
front I look a mess <laughs> but packing today been taking me down under okay now I really ain't been bad it it really haven't been that bad today but my hair is a mess because baby I've been like packing packing and moving all this heavy furniture but as y'all saw in the other clips I have the box spring and the mattress off so it just leaves basically the headboard and frame so this piece I thought was just sitting here but it's literally screw screwed in so I have the instructions right okay there's only four steps in putting this together. Seems easy, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so I told Bay I was gonna wait to him and his friends and my friend got here to leave it for the men. But obviously the last step is screwing in 26 screws. So that's step number four. I can unscrew 26 screws like that. That's easy. I can unscrew stuff. Okay. I can do a lot of stuff actually, but I can I can do that. And then the third step is those little four pieces in the middle. You just take those off. And it look like that you just twist those in. So since they already basically put the whole thing together, like part four, five, and six right there, all I gotta do is just screw that off if I really wanted to. But I think that'll be able to just fit in there just fine. So I may just keep that. If it don't, then we can unscrew it off in the moving truck. But basically what I'm gonna be doing is unscrewing these there's 26 of them so I'm gonna go through every one unscrew those then those in the middle that's what you twist off so if I need to twist it off I will but I'm just gonna probably keep it markings because I want to put it back just how they had it so this side goes up this way towards the headboard and then they already have a marking that says top on there but I want it just like how they had it so on all these boards I'm marking it upward obviously not on all of them but marking up so I can know it goes up extremely tired I've literally been packing non-stop literally since last Saturday and today is Friday had to go to work Sunday and then literally been packing non-stop Monday moving and stuff so I got a lot of stuff done keep in mind I've packed my whole entire apartment by myself like I got help two days ago to move a few of the boxes but everything else me so in this vlog, obviously, you guys saw me packing up my couch. I got the plastic wrap across all the delicates so this doesn't get all nasty and stuff in the truck. And then I have this wrap. I think it'll be easier. Um, and then I got these right here. So if they want to, they can poke a hole in this, you know, up here. But I wanted to wrap that. Wrap this with the pillows. This one's wrapped. I got my... I can't even talk, I'm tired. My um, nightstands that I'm using them as wrapped. We got the boxes over here. 
dog stuff. I forgot about the cage because I was trying to find another box and I'm like, don't have a box big enough to fill all that crap. This is like the only box I got left. So obviously just put it in the cage. This stuff has to go. Some of this smaller stuff like the clock, all of that, and y'all know I'm gonna put the, put the glass in my car. Um, that box do need to be over there, but I don't even feel like moving that child. Only thing else that I gotta really pack is this bar cart. Like take off all of this and this top comes off. Don't really know how I wanna do the mirror. Um, Emmanuel is coming in the morning. He's gonna come at seven and then I have to go to like load his car, whatever I guess. And then I'm going to go to Home Depot to get the truck. Like I'm not gonna drive it. I'm just gonna, unless if Emmanuel wanna drive it back. I don't know if I, I don't know if I trust him though, cause I, don't, I ain't getting insurance on it. I don't know. I'm gonna see if my mom recommend me to get insurance or whatever. But as of right now, I'm just gonna go wait up there for Bay to come, and then Bay is gonna drive it back. Unless Emmanuel drives it back, and then they can already like be here. But I bought these these expired last year, and I never tried them. Expired March of last year. Wow. I had four of these. I did try the. I think it was like a cheeseburger macaroni one basically this is like a upscale hamburger helper um a hamburger helper i don't really care for anymore so i want to try these one of my co-workers back then she not work there no more but told me to try these out she really likes them um the other one was good it was just it seemed like like too cheesy or something the um first one that i had but this philly cheesesteak I kind of, I kind of want to rebuy this and try that one. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> um, I get Oreo tomorrow. Um, he's been over there for at least four days, <laughs> four, four and a half days. So, um, tomorrow after my moved in, everything, Bay, he gotta go to work, and then he's gonna come back at like midnight to stay the first night with me. But my mom usually always, like I said, this is the first time my mom has never helped me pack. <laughs> So I think I'm going to see if she want to come over for a few hours, like to help me unpack a little bit and, you know, just hang with these dogs. And then so she can see the new place and everything, know where I stay, all of that. Um, I don't think she has to work. I hope not. Because if she do got to work, then she ain't going to get off till like later in the evening. And I ain't trying to drive her back at night. My mama is scared to drive in Little Rock. I don't understand. <laughs> like Dallas, Atlanta, somewhere like that. Okay, baby, I get you. Cali. I get you, but Little Rock, mama, come on now. She's only been driving a Little Rock her whole life. So I, I don't know what it is when people get older that they, they act like they can't do nothing no more. <laughs> oh, she is so crazy. So I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm about to actually text her cause she should still be up. And I'm gonna see because I would like for her to come over to not only help me, but to like come back here too. And then it'll be like two hands grabbing stuff. Maybe even Janae will help me grab some stuff. And then we'll go back over there like later in the evening to like clear this place completely out so I can just be done. All I gotta do when I come back here after like clearing everything out is like cleaning and everything like that. So now I'm about to go to bed. This whole corner is cleared out. All it is literally fitting Emmanuel's car. It is 7.34 in the morning, moving day. Prince keep trying to escape and go outside. Just took him out. Um, Bay is on the way. I gotta go pick up the U-Haul at eight o'clock. So I have it timed right now to make sure I get there in time. I believe in another like 15 minutes. So couch, literally everything else I think it's gonna fit on that little moving truck. I only got like a 12 foot one. And then I got my box spring mattresses in here these blankets and covers and stuff i'm about to put this in my car right now because i got glass in my trunk and then i got to wrap this up sir i'm looking at the vlog i gotta wrap this bed with the plastic wrap where, where the plastic wrap bed? right here what's up youtube what up, what up cool watch fans okay how y'all doing today please put that in the video <laughs> I gotta so wrap neat. this headboard and then this is what I slept on like I'm in prison and I gotta wrap that. And then everything will be ready. It's recording now so you can record. Hold on, let's make sure this on tight. Hell yeah, I can do this. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> Stinking got a lot of let's shit. Just record the behind the scenes. I'll montage it all together. Oh no. Okay. <gasps> we saying goodbye. Oh, <gasps>
Princess. Nephew ready to go to his new house. I miss the films. Oh my god. She's hilarious. You want me to do the voiceover? Fuck it, I'm doing the voiceover this time. Girl. She got all this shit. My friend clean, but she's got a lot of shit. <laughs> My friend clean. She's got a lot of shit, John. Cause this coming up shit. They struggle. Not gonna on the vacuum. <laughs> you want to break already? Mm -hmm. You want break? No, you want I'm some water? Yeah, y'all yeah, probably gonna have to do two trips. But hey, he don't want no small stuff in the back of his truck like boxes. Well, yeah, I can put boxes. Hey, y'all think I can fit that headboard on top of the mattress? Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, water break. Of no. Oh, yeah, well. I'm done, Brad. I'm done, Brad. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see my ticket. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. What? You resting it? No. That's fine. Oh, Is this closet empty here? Yes, it is. I ain't got a cup, but so I do. What's on you too? <laughs> this girl moves every she told me. Okay, but I'm not moving no more. I she won't go move no more. I'm not moving no more. I see you lying. I know she was gonna move. I'm gonna have. disappear next move. You ain't gonna worry about me. We're gonna put the small stuff on the truck. Yeah, let's get this. This stuff is heavy. Ooh, that could go on the truck. Glass. Oh, it's glass though. Yeah. And this maybe. This is heavy. Dress the wrap. Yeah. Okay, why you guys gonna have heavy shit? It's my thing. Hey, Jamea, uh -huh. here, let's go. Get the dresser. Come on. Emmanuel, I know you fucking lying. I'm a prop. What else you want me to get? <laughs> I'm doing it. Come on. It's gonna make a beep. Is it on? Yeah, I see the beep. Oh, wait. All right, let it be. Sorry. With nothing in your hand. You could have picked up some. Absolutely not. I'm. I'm <laughs> You said record them taking the stuff off the uh, uh, thing. Now, which one you want me to do? I'm tired. What, what's your job? Um, I went and got refreshments. I did two loads. Now I'm trying to record. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't y'all judge me. Kira got me doing this. Come on, my girl got to go viral. Watch yourself, bro. Be careful. Do y'all need this move? No, I'm gonna okay. Be smart and slide it. Turn it over, turn it over. Turn it over. And action! Okay, Sting, look at you ordering stuff that really, you know. Yeah, yeah. Love the teamwork. Love that. <laughs> Getting the good stuff. Mm hmm. Ooh. Mm hmm. Okay, now I'm having one now. That's cute. That's cute. Teamwork makes the dream work. Good thing. What was funny? Nothing. I was laughing. You sure? Yeah. You ever had your back fucked up? No. Like real fucked up? Like, I almost said something crazy. I ain't even gonna say it. Don't, don't say it. I ain't gonna say it. I think my, my back is just... Wait, on the camera. I'm doing... Come on, Stink, I'm gonna let you go first. I'm trying, honey. <laughs> oh, shit. Keep on your back, gonna be fucked up, I'll tell you. Okay, so I literally just recorded, like, three minutes of talking and it all basically erased. <laughs> so what I was saying is I showed the dogs eating and everything. Prince is here or Prince, Oreo. 
Here they go. <laughs> My mom is in the back eating a pizza. And when she's done eating her pizza, we're actually gonna go to Dollar Tree. I gotta get a few things that's not really expensive right now. And my hair is a mess because we was just outside on the balcony. Um, I'm about to put my bed together while she's eating. It shouldn't take that long. This is how my room and bed is looking right now. So y'all saw me take it apart. These little screws basically just go in right here and I put two on each side and then they are all ready. And then I'm gonna add that together. Um, the only thing I really want together tonight is definitely my bed so I can have somewhere to sleep. And then we're gonna go back to the other spot so I can grab a few other things and then I'm gonna grab <clears throat> my living room TV so she can have something to watch in there when she's sitting down and stuff. So yeah, and this boy in here on my carpet, <laughs> messing with stuff in here. Yeah, what you doing? So I'm about to put this together. I'm about to try to take this plastic from under the bed first cause I don't wanna put these together and then this plastic still here. So since these are still separate, I'm just gonna lift these up and get this plastic out. <laughs> Welcome to Bristol. I'm in the party with Barbies and drillers. The kid back mad on the spin. I'll see enough man just run for my niggas. How they talk about dingers? They ain't got dingers. They ain't be cool not a dinger. My little nick go by, they lose for the ching arm. Oh, and you get done with the kick off. Welcome to Bristol. I'm in the party with Barbies and drillers. The kid back mad on the spin. I'll see enough man just run for my niggas. How they talk about dingers? They ain't got dingers. They ain't be cool not a dinger. My little nigga go by, they lose for the ching arm. Oh, man, you get done with the kick off. Bristol pulley, slide with a body. Man, hold two for the woody. Zabu gang style. This is how I'm looking. Me and my mama just got caught in a hail storm. Literally, my hair is messed up. Like I got, I don't know what I'm about to do for church tomorrow. <laughs> so I may just have to wash it and wear it curly if I can find all my stuff. But my whole entire hair is messed up. So we did go to Dollar Tree, but after we left Dollar Tree, it really got really bad. The wind started like gushing really, really fast, almost blowing us, blowing tree branches and everything. So it was bad. Dollar Tree, I really just needed bleach, but I did go down every hour and kind of just got random stuff. So I did get the bleach, needed that. And then I got some more Lysol wipes. I left these at the house, my old apartment, and then I was, actually, I think I ran out. We was gonna go to my old apartment, but this hailstorm just came out of nowhere. So we heard and came back to the house, okay? Um, the next thing cleaning related I got from Dollar Tree is this Odo band. Eliminates odor, so you can put it in your laundry and air freshener. So literally you just need like a cap full. You can use it in sponges, your mops, sprayers, cloths. You can like so much stuff. And yeah, it's literally gonna disinfect it too. So I'm excited to use this and dilute it and stuff like that. And then I also did get four different kind of scent thingies. So these are like the plugins that I'll put in the air wick thingies. I'm about to actually take this out and put this in my bathroom. And then this one is gonna go into the other bathroom. I gotta wait on that. Other thing I got cleaning related is some pine saw. I don't like this lemon scent. I like the regular, like one in the brown bottle, but whatever. I got some carpet freshener and then I also got this for my refrigerator, which nothing's in there right now. I didn't know you can put it in your bedroom too, or your closet, but I'm gonna be using that. Um, the next thing that I got cleaning related is Comet. I got the foam bath cleaner. Um, I did get this new scrubber from Amazon. I'm gonna use this probably later tonight or tomorrow because there's still some Comet in my shower. So I got the spray Comet because the powder one kind of like lingers around in the bottom of the um, tile, like on the bath. It's like insane right now. I cannot believe I look like this. <laughs> I need to just do like a slick back ponytail, honestly. Um, and then the other two things I've got is for like hygiene, some soap, more toothpaste, and then I got this cheese popcorn. My coworker recently gave me some cheesy popcorn. It was like really, really good. So I hope this is good. I ain't never tried this before, but we gonna see. And I also watch All of Destiny and she always talk about the Boom Chicka Pop popcorn. So I decided to try the white cheddar popcorn and one bag is like 240 calories. <laughs> and then the other thing I got is some Sour Patch Kids. This is my guilty pleasure. And then I got a little three pack of water. Y'all know my favorite water is Fiji, but just for company and stuff like that. 
since I didn't get to go to the other apartment, I decided to get some water bottles so I can have here. The last thing I got before my camera died is some nonstick cooking butter spray. Oh, and then I got a 50 pack of cups for like three dollars. <laughs> my mom keeps thinking I have a three bedroom apartment. She's been saying. <laughs> I don't know, she's insane. But I'm cooking literally two sides, macaroni, and I'm gonna do roasted potatoes over here. She was supposed to be cutting my potatoes up, but I guess I'll do that real quick. All right, so I'm about to Swift to sweep under the couch because I left my broom in my old place. And this is game scented, so it smells so good. This is the ones I'm using. All right, so I don't really need a shower curtain, but since I have it and I literally paid like 30 something dollars for this, I decided to put this back up. So literally it's the same length. It goes from top to bottom, looks amazing. And I mean, there's a glass right there. So this is the guest room. So I mean, ain't many people gonna be, you know, in here, I don't think. But I do got this just if someone do want privacy. But for right now, I just wanna be in the back. But yeah, super cute. Fits perfectly, goes all the way down. Okay, so since I don't have painter's tape, I'm gonna do use this method to try to measure this out. in a organizing video right now I'm just trying to place everything where it needs to go but I hate washing them out. Oh, hey y'all, me and my mom are here at the old apartment. It's pretty empty. I just have my bar cart here and then just a few random things, a little empty apartment tour, if you will, again. Put the thing up on me. 
<laughs> so this is the stuff that I'm taking. Those two white bags are trash. I'm taking that. That's my liquor. Taking this. <laughs> taking this mirror. I'm gonna keep this one up here for right now because that was too heavy. Bar card, I think I'm gonna keep here. Or I may take this top part, but I mean, I'm not really pressed to take it because I already have a bar built in. I'm gonna take this backpack. We can probably put some stuff in this backpack and I can just put it on my back. Yeah. Like them them books over there, a few of them. Oh. Them, uh, my mama used to buy my yearbook every single year. So <laughs> I have a yearbook for every year. <laughs> this stuff I'm taking, I don't, I don't need that bag. This is my nursing school stuff. And then I just gotta sweep in here, pick up that. So that's really all just little bitty random stuff. Closet is dang near done. I don't really like these hangers anymore, but I'll keep them. But I do need this. I got a few hangers in here I need to take. Hangers. So I'm gonna take them. Um, I don't really need none of this. I am gonna take this. This has some stuff in there. Then these are my washcloths that I left. And then I still got this big old beer and that beer. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with these. Um, and I already have I have three or two at my parents' house. I get them all the time for Valentine's Day. And I'm like, at this point, I don't want another beer. <laughs> like, it's cute, I love it, the gesture and stuff, but I don't have anywhere to store them. So, at this point, I don't need any more beers for Valentine's Day. <laughs> like, just give me something else. But I'm gonna keep them too, because them two for my bag now. And then my other one, one I think it's from my dad, one I had since high school from my job, I wanted it, so I wanted to keep it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna throw that other one out. But that's all I got. Then I got that little weight. And then this other closet that I had. I may throw this out. This is what Prince used to like to sit on to look outside. So I don't know, because this isn't the vibe I'm going for for my YouTube studio and stuff room. So, and this, uh, I don't even know if I want none of these shoes. I may try to take them to play those and see if they do anything with them, but. Other than that, I don't need none of this. This is broke, but I keep it just in case. Like it's still functional a little bit, but it's definitely broke. That's why the tape right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this. So we can really start packing the car. I'm about to try to take down these brackets for my um, curtains and see if I can reach up there. If not, then I'm just gonna have to wait till Bay come back down here or something. So yeah. This is my bedroom. And I think I showed y'all the bathroom. This is what's left. Oh, I do want to take this if we can. This is to clean the toilet out of my bathroom. This is donations or Play-Doh's closet. I do need to take this, that's mine. And then I need to take this stuff and try to put the old shower head back on. But I want it to be out of here by 2.43 because we came at 1.43. So I wanted to only spend an hour in here. So I'm about to try to take that off. Or I may come back tomorrow for that. Yeah, I'm gonna come back tomorrow for that because I'm supposed to be replying back to YouTube collaborations today, especially since I found out how much I'm actually supposed to be charging for a YouTube video. Girl, just now I was logging myself. I posted that on uh, Instagram, if you guys follow me on Instagram, it's just underscore Akira with three A's at the end of my name. I'm just taking the rest of these nails out real quick. And I'll probably come back and try to fix that faucet thing because I still gotta go return something to Kohl's from Amazon and then I need to go. What else did I need to do? Oh, I need to get a basket from Five Below. Patio, I still got some stuff in there. I don't know when the last time I showed y'all that. This is trash too, so I gotta throw that out. I'm not taking this rug because look how dirty this got. It got this dirty because of all this construction. That's been going on super, super in the way. But yeah, so I'm not even gonna take this. This was from Big Lots anyway for like $40. So, I mean, I can find another rug or I think I wanna do tile at my new place. I will keep this, but I don't really wanna do pink, but I think Bay actually bought me that. So I think I am gonna keep it. And then this is like my Christmas tree. This is Christmas bags, a weight. So this is just, just random stuff that I'll just get another time. 